In this video, I will show you how to write and run a Python program using Anaconda Spider. So I'm running Windows 7 right now, but still for Windows 10, you just click this Windows icon and then find a spider. So I will just type spider, S-P-Y-D-E-R. And then I got three options, four options. I'm gonna use this spider Anaconda 3. It's gonna take a while to load this spider. We're gonna stick to Python version 3 instead of 2. Python 3 and 2 are a little bit different, but most people I think are using Python 3. And then over here, it's gonna open a temp.py. So don't worry about lines from one to six. Uh, they're just the comments. And this is a temporary script file. So we're gonna start from line eight. And of course, the first program is this print. Once you type print, it's gonna show you the syntax for print. It looks very complicated, but I'm gonna give you a more concrete example. I'm gonna print out a string. So to print out a string, we can kind of enclose anything we wanna display in the double quote. So hello. world and then we're gonna save it it's temp.py but we can also save a copy let's save a copy so this is the default folder I want to save it to the desktop so that I can find it easily all right and then I'm gonna click this play button this run button and I see hello world However, these two lines are really close to each other. I want to insert a new line in between. So one way to do this is I just added backslash in here and play again. Now you can see the difference. There's a line, a blank line between these two. And also you can just do a, a slash backslash in double quote plus hello world. So you can do that as well. And then you get the same output. Now we're gonna make it a little bit more complicated. We're gonna just print, um, how about one plus two equals something, right? So equals, equals what? I don't know. I'm gonna just say one plus two here. So this print statement will do the calculation first, one plus two and display the result here. Let's click play. Well, one plus two equals three. So if you use a comma here, um, this print statement will insert a white space between the first item, which is a string here, one plus two equals and three. So over here, there's no space here and you don't even have to put a space here. It's gonna insert a space between the first item, a string, and the second item, which is a integer. So I'm gonna play this. Again, one plus two equals three, we got the same result. Again, pay attention to this space here, even if I didn't put a space here. Now let's do something more complicated. Let's do a for loop a for, uh, for i in range, uh, let's say range 10, okay, range 10. What does that mean? It's gonna enumerate i from zero to nine, not to 10. So this 10 will uh, serve as a upper limit that this I cannot reach. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just print I. I think I'm gonna print the odd number of I, so I need an if statement if, well, I mode two. Okay, if I mode two is different from zero, that's gonna be a odd number. If it's different from zero, that's an odd number. I'm gonna print I. All right, that's it, that's my program. And then uh, let's just run. You don't have to save, I think when you click run, it's gonna save it first. All right, so one, three, five, seven, nine, all those all numbers. Uh, what if we need uh, even numbers? All right, so equal, equal sign, two equal sign together. Uh, that's when I mode two is equal to zero. Okay, and then we get uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. 
Uh, now I'm gonna sum up all those um, even numbers. What I need to do is I need to define a new variable sum. Uh, initially sum is set to zero. And over here, I'm gonna just add a new line sum equals sum plus i. And then in the end, I'm gonna print out sum. So print. Uh, I want a new line here. I want one additional blank line here. Before printing out the sum, uh, I'm gonna say the sum of all even numbers smaller than 10 is okay I'm gonna put some here all right this sum is a integer and okay I, let's play the sum of all even numbers smaller than 10 is 20 so 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 is 20 uh, sorry about this V and also you probably can notice there's a space here because uh, I'm printing out two items in one print statement uh, how do we get rid of this space we can do this if we do this there's no space okay then there's no space at the beginning of this sentence the sum of all even numbers smaller than 10 is 20 okay I forgot to put a comma here so there should oh I'm sorry a period here but unfortunately that's gonna be a space before this period so let's play you can see there's a space before this period uh, later I'll show you how to get rid of this space all right we're done today uh, but um, one more thing I want to show you is actually there's a website it's w3schools.com you can learn Python here and you can run a lot of examples here so right now I'm showing you an example of printing out a string hello world over here print X X is this string a combination of characters and then print out the type of the string which is a so it belongs to this class string and then I'm gonna print out I'm gonna click run so y equals 1 print y and print the type of y you will see y is 1 the type of y is class integer and actually I'm gonna put a decimal point be, uh, right after 1 so y now is 1 point it seems there's no change in its value but when you print out this y it's gonna be a fractional number or float number the type of y is gonna be float I'm gonna click run and you will see okay so this is from print y y is 1.0 and then if I print the type of y it's gonna be a float uh, one more thing if x is an integer y is uh, one point what about x plus y so uh, I'll let you think about it so I'm clicking this run x plus y what's the result okay it's 2.0 so x is an integer y is a float but when we do x plus y the result is a flow number the type is going to be a float number all right that's all for today